Hello guys, we're going to be doing today the JS exercise, the begin JS exercise of the BritCode platform that you can find if you go into uh, REPL.IT and then you go into the community classrooms you will have to go into community that it's uh, learn and teach here and then you find you say begin begin JS and here they are and uh, from 4 Geeks Academy and you can also search uh, look at them at the exercises on the breathe code platform if if you like okay let's uh, start with the begin JS repls the first one here that we have on the class it's A console.log. In JavaScript, we use console.log to make the computer write anything we want. Okay, so instructions. Use the console.log to print hello world on the console. Feel free to use other things as well. Yeah, well, I guess let's start with console.log only. Console.log. Hello world. And if we run it, there we go. Hello world. Don't for, don't uh, ignore this undefined here thing here. This undefined it's you can remove it if you say for example, I think return hello. I think it's gonna yeah no it's not gonna maybe if I have a variable what's happening here? It's deleting. If I have a variable, maybe? Yeah, well, I don't know how to remove it, but don't don't worry about that. Of the undefined. Okay, let's just submit it. Correct. Cool. Now, let's go outside to the classroom and do the next one. Declare variables. Variables act like a box, a container that lets you store different types of data. It says declare a new variable with the string value yellow and print the value on the console. Okay, so let, you can say let or var, don't worry about that. I always say let because it's, it's like a good practice now. Var is being, uh, not being used anymore. Okay, so let. It doesn't really matter the, the name of the variable, I think. So let's call it uh, something equals yellow. And then semicolon. Declare a new variable with the string yellow. Blah, blah, blah. Print the value on the console. Okay, so the next thing will be to do console.log something. And then run it. It says yellow. Now I can submit and it's correct. Back to the classroom. Next one. Print variables. Print variables in the console. Declare a new variable called color. Okay, a new one. So let color and assign the value red to it. Okay, red. And then it says print its value on the console. Okay, that's like the same thing. Console.log color. Run. It says hello and red. Submit and success. Submit. Back to the classroom. Multiply two values. Okay, please store in a variable, call it variables are cool. The result of multiplying 2345 and 7323 uh, 7, and print the result in the console. So let result actually picking the name of a variable, it's one of the biggest, the most difficult things that you can imagine. 73 Two, three. Especially when you're not doing something, when you're doing exercises like REPL, it's hard because you don't have a real purpose. But when you're doing a real life application like a shopping cart, it's easy because everything is related to the to the business. So result, and that's it. 
it's a 9668 because in code you can do like a calculator you can also divide you can subtract you can use parentheses if you want and have combined operations or you can use also nested variables or not nested like several variables in the same statement like saying uh, uh, let's say uh, like I said the names are difficult so aux let's say 34 and I can say result is equal to um, 2345 minus aux plus 23 and it's gonna work because aux value is 34 so let's go back to what we were asked and put it here run it now it ah because I left the minus it's a plus it's a plus right now it's a multiple yeah it's a multiplication so run it uh, a lot now let's submit and we have a success let's go back and now it's user input variables yeah we can also ask the user for stuff if we run this you'll see how it's asking for something what's your age let's say that I'm 12 years old I'll say okay and saying your age is 12 okay please add 10 years to the value of age of the age variable the content of the variable it's been previously filled with whatever the user input okay so all we have to do is add 10 to age so we can say uh, like let result equals age plus 10 and now let we're gonna print result instead of h here run my age is 12 okay and now it's saying 12 10 well the challenge here is that uh, 10 needs to be parsed into an integer because variables when they grab like we're telling javascript that we want to uh, add age plus 10 but javascript doesn't really know what age is for her for it is a variable with the letter A, a letter G, and our E as a name, it's not really an age, like a, 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 a human age. So JavaScript is telling us, like, you want me to do some string with an integer. So what we need to do is to first convert what the user input into, a, into an integer, like this. We say parse int, and it's going to convert it. Now if I run it, and I save that my age is 12, it's going to be 22. So that's one of the tricky things that you need to know. Like if you see that instead of adding the numbers, it's putting them together, it means it's concatenating a string. And that's a, an operation that string data types can do, but not integers. So you know that you're working with strings and you're supposed to be working with integers. So let's submit and it works. Submit. Now the next one constants you can also declare constants like this that they cannot change it says here run the exercise and fix the error that shows on the console make the console output 0 0.9 on the console when fixed search the error on google to learn how to fix it uh, it says assignment to constant variable version at line 3 that means that we cannot reassign a constant because it's constant so we have to Remove this. It's the only way. You cannot reset it. We can maybe rename the, the name of the constant and declare a new one, like uh, by version 2 maybe. But we cannot reuse the old constant that we have there. And we can change this to 0.9 because this is what our exercise is asking us. And then we run it, and there it is. Let's submit. And it's working. Now, string concatenation. This is what's happening, what was happening in the previous exercise. We were concatenating instead of adding or summing. So set the value of variable 1 and variable 2 to the... So the code prints hello world in the console. Okay. Uh, right now it's saying my var plus space my var 2. So... It's concatenating my var 1 with a space and then with my var 2. So if I put the word hello here and the word world here, and we test it, it's saying hello world because it's being concatenated into a new variable and then that variable is being printed on the console. 
submit and that's it now create a basic HTML okay this is a lot of concatenation as well because that's what HTML doing HTML is like we're gonna be able to write code write HTML code with JavaScript by creating a huge HTML string basically that's what we do as a web developer so the code on the left contains eight constants with different string values. Please use the constants and concatenate them together to set the value of the variable HTML document to a new string. So basically we have to add this together in the proper order. I know it has to be HTML first, so HTML first here. Then after HTML is head, so it's C. Then after C it's title, so it's G. Then it's closing the title, so it's A. <clears throat> then it's closing the head. Then it's opening the body. And then it's closing the body. And then it's closing the HTML. And we have pretty much like a, a website, right? An HTML document. Oh, we have to print it on the console. Console.log HTML document. Here it is. If we put this into the browser, we're putting it into a console. But if we put it into a browser, it's going to show a website. It's going to be empty, but it's going to show it. So that's what you do when you code. You uh, concatenate HTML so you could do dynamic websites. So let's submit. It's a success. And let's continue to the next one. So calling your first function, let's call it. It doesn't say, ah, well, it's not even calling. Okay. The function is odd is defined at the beginning of the code. Here it is, is odd. Please call that function passing it the number 45,000 something and print the result on the console. Okay. So I have to first call the function. So let's say um, is odd. To call a function, all you do is uh, you specify the name here, like you have to put the name of the function and then open and close parentheses, but inside of it, you put whatever the function is expecting. So here it's expecting as a parameter, it's expecting my uh, a number. So I'm gonna put here the number and then I'm gonna console.log that. You, you can do it in, in two different ways. We could set uh, a variable that it's going to contain the result, let's say result equals to is that, and then we can console.log the variable, run it, and it's going to show here, it says true, it is an odd number, if we put 6, you will see that it says false, it is not a null number. Another way would be, we can save all these characters just by copying the function call and putting it inside the console.log instead of starting in a variable, we can print it right away. So if I press run here, it says false now. It, it's working as well, it's the same thing. So that's pretty much it. Um, submit and output mismatch. Ah, because I changed the number, yeah, it has to be ending in five. And submit, now it's cool, okay, submit. Now let's see the next one. It says creating your first function. Okay. So the function add number is supposed to return the sum of two given numbers. Please complete the needed code inside of the function to make it behave as expected. The exercise should print the number seven in the console. Yeah, because it's the function is being called like in the previous exercise, but now instead of us calling the function, we're we are writing the function and it's already called here in the line number six. So it's passing three and four. So three and four will be A and B in the same order because that's what matters for a function parameter. What matters is the order. It doesn't matter what name you put to it. You can name it however you want. Like we rename this and say that this will be uh, first and this, this one will be second or that this will be um, PPP and the other one will be AAA. It doesn't really matter. It's just the variable name that it will have. And 
it needs to return the sum of the two given numbers. So return PPP plus AAA semicolon run. And that's it. Uh, let's submit and success. Now going back to the previous one. We are in creating a new function. So now it's uh, a little bit harder because we don't even have the structure of the function defined here. It says please now create a function called generate random. So function generate random that generates a random number between one and nine. Every time is called. Okay. So return math.random between it says between one and nine so other random plus ten I think plus one no because it's it's between one and nine so it's times nine and then plus one I think let's see let's test it for a second console.log Generate random. Run it. Now, uh, yeah, we we we're missing the math dot floor. And I think that's it. Nine. I saw a nine there, but I haven't seen a one. One. There it is. Yeah. And also, you can you can search in Google like how to generate. A random number between one and nine. Ah, and I missed the word JavaScript. JavaScript. And then generate a random number between two numbers. Okay, let's see. Always in Stack Overflow, all not always, but most of the time the green arrow it's a good indicator. This is the question. Never look at the first thing. It's always the the second one or below. It says here if you wanted to get between one and six, you will calculate like this. So I'm gonna just copy this and test and, and replace it on my code because I don't even wanna think about the solution. I'm gonna replace six with nine and test it again. It says nine, nine one, nine. I think this is gonna work. Okay. Uh, please now create a function called generate random that generates a random number with one and nine every time it's called. One possible solution involves using two predicted, two predefined functions, the math.random and the math.floor. Okay, submit. And it worked. Three tests. And it's perfect. Now, back to the classroom and your first if. Okay. So it says, the current application is prompting how much money the user has. Once the user inputs the amount, we need to console.log one of the following answers. If the user has more than $100, we answer, give me the mo give me your money. If the answer has more than 50, we answer, buy me some coffee, cheap. And if it's less than 50, we say your poor guy go away. Hint, use if else statement to check the value of that variable. Okay, so let's do it. Let's say, if <coughs> if total it's more than a hundred then we're gonna say console.log give me your money give me your money hey that's not it copy give me your money then the other three will be if it's we're gonna put an else so never this 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 line of code the line number four is, is only gonna run if the line number three didn't apply so we have the guarantee on line number four that inside line number four we have the guarantee that it will never run if it's more than a hundred let me put the curly brackets in all of them so it's better to understand because the if else statement says that you have to say if and then you have to put a logical operation here that returns either true or false and then you open the scope of the if and whatever it's in between the the curly brackets 
it's going to be run only if this condition is true. So then the else statement, we could leave it like that, just say else like this, like else, and that's it. And it's going to be when it's equal or less than 100. Or we can continue uh, having several else's saying else if, like else if total is, let's say if total is more than 50. It's, it's going to be, we know already that it's more than 100. But now it's going to be even more than 50 because it's an else. And we can say here, buy me some coffee, you cheap. Buy me some coffee, you cheap. And then the next one, let's say else. Else, we know that it's less than 50 because we already tested for the other one. So we don't need to put an else if. We can just put an else in between the curly brackets and test it. How much money do you have? Let's say I have $200. It should say, give me your money. That's cool. Okay, now let's say that I have um, $1. And it's going to say, give me your money. And that's bad. My guess is that it's uh, it's been, uh, it's been uh, compared as a string. So let's, let's uh, make it a, an integer first. So I'm going to say var total as integer that could be the problem so let's say parse int and in parentheses we're going to put total here and the new value it's total answer i'm going to put it here let's run it again let's say that i have two dollars and give me your money still so give me your, ah because i have give me your money in the end and it should be your poor guy go away let's test it again two dollars your poor guy cool now let me see that let's say that i have sixty dollars it says buy me some coffee cheap and if I have $200 it says give me your money. So that's cool. Uh, I guess we didn't uh, we didn't need this part but it's a it's a good practice because remember that at, at some point in a previous REPL we had issues with the the integers and the and the strings you should always convert it into an integer if you're going to use it as an integer. But let's submit and we have an error. What's wrong? Teacher's input was 15 and total. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to use a variable that doesn't exist because I commented this line. So let me uncomment it. Submit. And that's cool. Submit. Back to classroom. And now we're going to how much the wedding costs, probably. Yeah, how much the wedding costs. Here's the table of prices inside a wedding catering company. Up to 50 people, it's $4,000. Up to 100 people, it's 10,000. Up to 200 and more than 200. So, instructions. Please write an algorithm that prints on the console the price of the user wedding. For example, if the user says that 20 people are attending to the wedding, it must cost $4,000. Use if else to divide your code and set the value and set the value of the price variable the right way. Okay. So, the uh, here the question to be using is being made, and then here on the on the line number six is saying your wedding will cost price dollars. So let's do it. Let's say um, let price. We have to first define it because it's not defined. And let's say that price is zero. And then I'm gonna start saying if user input. User input should be uh, the num the in the the people that was invited. So let's say guests. Guests. If guests, it's up more than two hundred people. More than two hundred people. Then price is equal to to twenty thousand. Cool. Then I can repeat this same sentence, but saying else if, because we it's like in the previous exercise. The number of guests now, it's going to be always less than 100 or less than 200 or equal to 200 because we're, gonna, we're in the else, so it's, it will never get into the if. Into the initial if. So then else if guests is... 
more than 100 more than 100 it's 10,000 it's 15,000 then if it's more than 50 let me put the else again more than 50 the price is 10,000 and then if we need this one this is the last one and then else else we don't even have to ask for this one price will be 4000 4000 okay let's test it let me see i have 30 guests and your wedding will cost 4000 dollars that's cool okay then uh, 500 guests my wedding will cost $20,000, that's also cool. So let me submit it. And success, all of them are a success. So submit, back to classroom, and your first switch. Instructions, complete this switch statement with three possible colors, red, green, and blue. The function needs to return true if the color is available, available or false if the color is not available. Okay, and it's only red, green, and blue. So I'm gonna say here in the switch. The switch statement works like this. You say the word switch. Remember that you can combine any trick in programming. So the, ignore that this is a function, ignore what's happening here. Like all you care about is the switch because it's what it's new in this exercise. You can put a switch inside a function, a function inside a switch. You can put variables everywhere. So the combination of the tricks, don't worry about them. Focus on one trick at a time. And in this function, we're focusing on switch. So the switch says, if you search in Google, how to do a switch in JS, it's going to give you an example. And it's like this switch expression, case and case and default code block. So this exact same thing, I'm going to copy it here. And then I'm going to remove what I, I already have. I already have this. I already have default. So it's a case n, case n. So probably case n will be case red, case green, and case that we don't have that much cases. We can say case blue. Uh, and we have to say return true, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let me return true if it's return true. Return true, return true in all of them. Let me put the case also on the same level of indentation so it's better to understand. So we have red, green, and blue all return true, and this one returns false. The function is return true if the code is available or false if the code is not available. So I think that's okay. Let me say uh, red in caps, red, the color is not available because I put it in caps, but if I put it in lowercase, red, I think it's going to say that it is available. Good news, that color is available, you see? So we also have to, should check for the comparison on capital letters. So for that, what we could do is that we can, uh, before passing it into the switch, we can say selection equals to selection string to lowercase i think it's str to lowercase no it's not like that let me search in google to lowercase without the str that's how you make a string lowercase so let's do it let's say to lowercase to lowercase run now i can say red in caps and it's still gonna work good news your code is available but what if i say red red space and press ok we're sorry it's not available so you also should every time you have a user input you should also remove the spaces in between thank god there's a function for that so in between not like wrapping the the colors wrapping the the word i think it's trim the word for that or you can just say how to remove spaces from string javascript and it's gonna take you to an answer that it's like that. No, but this is within the string. Look, like, but we don't want within. I'm going to say around. 
how to remove string around around string no how to remove extra 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 spaces seems like a like a better query and here it is the trim function that I was talking about trim okay so let me put it here I'm gonna say also the trim trim is gonna return we can do it in, in two lines or in the same one like I can put this in a different variable and then that variable you do this but I can also do it in the same line and it also works now if I say red space is also going to work you see good news the color is available so let's submit it the color is uh, red let's say and perfect submit back to classroom let's see the next one random numbers let's see now please update the function code to make it return an integer no decimals number between 1 and 10 okay no decimals so if it's gonna be between 1 and 10 maybe we can just multiply it by 10 and then now we need to multiply by 9 by 10 because if we, if we multiply by 10 it could be 0 as well and I, I want to avoid the 0 but if I add 1 it could be 11 as well and actually it can't it's it's okay it's by 11 and I think it's gonna work oh well we have to remove that we have to remove the extra stuff like math dot floor to the entire thing let me see if it works it should never say zero but I think I saw a zero there one 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 yeah I saw a zero in those and if I submit probably doesn't work yeah so I'm gonna add after after the floor and it should probably work because if it's zero it's gonna be one so I think it's gonna yep a lot better right yes it will never be zero because I'm always adding one and it will never be 11 because this will always be multiplied by by what math.random returns that it's a number between zero and uh, between 0 0.1 and 0 0.9 so it will never be 11. So I'm gonna submit this and it's working, cool. Now the next one, let's see what's next. Your first loop, yeah, time to loop. Can you fix it, this code is broken. It's broken because the developer who did it forgot something during the while loop. The code is supposed to loop from 100 to zero and print the value of counter in the console. Okay, let, let's try it. Potential infinite loop, you can disable this from settings. Okay, it's in an infinite loop. Um, I guess it's because we're, it's never increasing. If you if you read the code, it's saying counter is 100. So 100 is more than 0. So it's going to enter here. And it's going to loop while counter is more than 0. But it's gonna, always going to be more than 0. Uh, because we're never decreasing it we should do counter it's equal to counter minus one to make it decrease and then if we run it it's going to decrease from 100 or from 99 because i did it at the beginning before printing if i do it after printing it's going to be from 100 so uh, from 100 from 100 to one let's submit and it's working Woohoo! okay the next thing will be create a for loop. Okay, a for loop. Let's see. Loops are very useful. You don't have to repeat yourself writing the same line many times. For the loop, the for loop lets you run the same code for different values. Instructions. Create a function called standards master maker that prints as uh, standards like when, when you're in school and they make you write standards. That prints 30 times the phrase, I will write questions if I'm stuck. Okay. So it's 300 times. So it's for, var, i, or let. You should always do let because it's the new standard from 0 
to while i it's more than 100 and then i'm gonna decrease i on every loop and i'm gonna say console.log i will write questions if i'm stuck oops my bad mm -hmm. So basically what's happening is that the for loop is going to run the line number 5 because it's in between the query bracket. It's going to run it as many times as it, as it loops. And it's going to loop from 0. Oh, it should be from 100 to 0 while it's to 1 because I'm decreasing. So I need to start from 100 and then going back to 0 and decrease on every cycle. And we need to make it in a function. We cannot just print this. So let me put in a function. So function start dot maker parenthesis parenthesis curly bracket and we put all of this inside of it. Run it. And there is it. Let me submit. Output mismatch. Probably I'm doing it one more time and one less time than the other. Ooh. Ah, because it's 300 times, not 100 times. So let's just put this on 300. And it should work. Let's see. Run. Submit. Oh. I think we're doing it one more time than then. Let's see. Yeah, one more. So it's okay if I remove this equal from here. And success. Back to crash room. Now we are in random colors. So here it says we have created a function that returns score based number. Let's say that we are that we are teachers in a 10 student classroom and we want to randomly assign one color between red, yellow, blue, and green for each student. Only one color per student. Change the function get all student colors. So it returns an array of 10 colors. Each time in the array represents color assigned to each student. Okay, so this function is already working. Get color, it says here, and it's supposed to receive a color number and return a color as a string. So all we have to do is to in here and get and get all student colors we have to loop 10 times because it's 10 students so for let times now let's i let's say i equals to 10 not to 0 and then well i it's less than 10 and then i plus plus open the curly bracket Ah, we also have to say, because it says here that, let's say that we change the function, get all student colors, so it returns an array of 10 colors. So it needs to return an array. So let array of colors equals to nothing. And on each loop, I'm going to add a new color. So I'm going to say array of colors, that push, but I need to know what color. So I'm going to pick a random number between uh, between 1 and 4 because it's what the color it's giving me between 1 and 4 so I'm gonna say math let me just do it in several lines first get the random color so random color equals to math dot random it's a number between between 1 and 4 so it's 6 uh, 4 I'm sorry and then math dot floor and then a plus one because I don't want uh, to have a zero on returned and I'm gonna now call get color here get color with random color let's see what happens Oh, I'm not returning anything, so I'm not gonna. I'm, I have to return now. Or like return the array of colors. So it's blue, 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 green, yellow, 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 blue, 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 green, green, green. I submit, and it's working. But let me just explain a little bit further. Um, things that first, I'm getting the random color. Let me console.log so you can see console.log random color. It's gonna be a bunch of numbers. Look. But it's, it's random numbers, right? I, I need to convert the random numbers into random strings because I know uh, uh, number two is not a color. But thank God we have this function here that it's doing it for us. So I'm going to replace now that console.log with this. And you'll see that 
if we pass the random number to the get color function, it's going to return a string that is the actual color. So if I run it, it's going to be the colors. You can see them here. But I need to put them into an array because it's saying that I need to return an array. Each item in the array represents the color assigned to each student. So instead of just console.login, I'm going to comment this line or delete it and put it into, I'm going to put the color into the array with a push and then return the colors. So submit, submit. Now let's see the next one. Facebook. This is a Google interview question. So this this is a typical beginner test that is required to complete interface in Google. Okay, write the code needed to print the console in the console all the numbers from zero to one. Okay, all the numbers from zero to one. Let's do it. Or let i equal zero. Well, i is less than it says from zero to one hundred. So less than a, less or equal i plus plus curly bracket console dot log i and let's run it here we are printing all the numbers from 0 to 100 now it says for multiples of 3 instead of the number print fees okay so if if i percentage because to know if a number uh, a number is no multiple of 3 you have to say percentage 3 and that will give you the reminder and if the reminder is 0 it's multiple of three. So I'm gonna say if it's multiple the, the of three console.log i no console.log fees like this for multiples of five print foos okay so if it's multiple of five I'm gonna print boss and then for multiples of both print fees foos I think it's already happening because it's multiple, it's gonna print first phase and then first. But the thing is that now I have to say, okay, if, if it's not multiple of neither of those, then I have to print the actual number. So I'm gonna say now, here I'm gonna say another if, that it's gonna be the combination of both, but the opposite, right? So the opposite, I'm gonna say, and, I'm gonna say if i div uh, i divided by three the reminder it's different from zero and i divided by five the reminder is different from zero then console dot log i that is the actual number let's run it and apparently it works face plus yeah. Let's see, let's submit. No, I'll put mismatch. Let me see. Or, oh yeah, it's an OR. It's an OR, it's my bad. Because it's, if it's if it's multiple of one of those, it's not, it's already, I'm not, I'm gonna, not gonna print it. So let me run it again and compare. And apparently it, it doesn't work. So let me see if it's why face is being printed at the beginning is zero. Oh, it's because I'm starting at zero and I should start at cool at one. So let me start at one. Run again. Yep. Now it's working. Oh nope. One, two, three, face. Ah, oh, so four. Apparently. Five should be boss, and it was on mine. Oh, yeah. So it was okay from the beginning with the with the ampersand. Yeah, it was okay from the beginning. Let's compare now. Let me compare the 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 output. One two fees four boost fees one two. Fees, four plus fees, seven, eight, fees plus fees plus. Okay, let's submit. Back to the classroom. Now, Russian Roulette. It says, have you ever played the Russian Roulette? It's super fun if you make it. Wow, the revolver gun has 
only six slots for bullets. Insert one bullet in one of the slots. Spin the revolver chamber to make it game random. Okay, instruction. The game is almost working. Please fill the function fire gun to make the game work. Compare the bullet position against the chamber position. Okay, so in Russian roulette, it's you spin on every on every gun on every fire. So every time I fire, I have to say I have to say let spin chamber and it's gonna give me let position it's equal to spin chamber and I already have the position where the bullet is and then it says the function is to return true or false depending on your so if the bullet wa was at the same slot as the revolver okay I have bullet position already declared as a global and I have chamber I spin the chamber and I have the chamber position so if the bullet is equal to the chamber then if the bullet is equal to position that is the chamber position then you're dead right return true if not return false let me see keep playing you're dead let's see submit and it's working okay the last one and uh, not the last one we have to do three more battles Oh yeah, this is the song. It's a repetitive thing. You only have to... The problem with this exercise, I think, is that it's hard to make it match exactly as expected because of the commas and the spaces. So uh, instead of focusing on having a solution that is exactly the same, uh, if it's similar, you can uh, you can say that you did it, basically. You have to, you have to search, uh, you have to look at this video and then re... Uh, hear the the words of the song and then do a loop because at the end from the minute uh 354 it's uh it's always saying the same so it's like a loop all you have to do is like loop 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 all the time and make it uh i think you have to do like four times you don't have to loop that much times and then the the words of with them yeah, here's the expected hour. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. You see, like four times let it be. Then, then again, four times let it be. And this one is for words of wisdom. And then this one is there's, there will be an answer. Let it be. So, create a function that returns the same lyrics you can hear from. Okay. I guess, I guess if we do the function, sing. We have to loop four times for like four bar i equals zero or i is less than two maybe i plus plus and then here we say console dot log the let it be comma like let it be comma as a string and now it's already saying let it be let it be yeah, we need to do it more times. So more like four. Run. Okay. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. And then, oh, the console.log is being made outside. So I have to, instead of console.log, I have to concatenate the string. So con like let lyric maybe equals to empty and then concatenate on, it, on each loop. Instead of console.log, I will do lyric. It's equal to lyric. It's to lyric plus let it be like this. And then return the lyric. Return lyric. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. And the space. I'm missing the space. I, I don't need the space. Okay. Apparently. Let me see. I don't know. Let's just put the space because this is the right grammar. And then. We're doing it right now. One, two, three, four. And it's one, two, three, four. Then words of wisdom. Okay. So then it's like lyric plus equal words of wisdom. Then we loop again. We loop again. And then we concatenate again. 
instead of words of wisdom, there will be an answer. There will be an answer, and then let it be. Something like this. Yeah, I think this could work. Let me see. Submit output mismatch. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Where's the mismatch? The, the mismatch. Oh. It's words of wisdom, and I have an extra, let it be, maybe. Words of wisdom. There is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think I don't have a, an extra. Let me see again the output mismatch. Why does it say that? Let it be. Can you just let it be? Let it be. Let it be. One, two, three, four, five. And I have. I think I have. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I have five. Okay. Good. So it seems that we have the output very close, and that it's not working the submit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move to the next one because it doesn't really matter if it's a not a fact in this particular case because we knew from the beginning that the exercise had some issues with the comparison, the output comparison. So um, maybe we'll delete this exercise in the future. So if you if you find yourself having trouble with this. Uh, or if you didn't find this exercise in your repos, uh, don't worry about it, and let's continue the exercise. I'm gonna submit anyway. And then, we can go to bottles of milk. Uh, this one, it's uh, also a gorilla interview, so I think it's good if we focus on this one. Um, it's saying that we need to replicate the letter of this sign. If you read, the the lyrics you'll see that it has like a pattern it's always 99 bottles of milk 99 bottles of milk take one down and pass it around 98 bottles of milk and of course as a developer you have to think about the the, the exceptions like what happens when it reaches one right so it's one bottle without the s of milk and the, uh, it reaches one because it it's a loop well we have to do this a loop but in the end, after the loop, we should probably do one bottle of milk without the S, and then take down, pass it around, no more, instead of 97 here, it's no more bottles of milk, and then no more bottles of milk on the wall, no more bottles of milk. So I'm gonna copy this part, I'm gonna put it here, put it as a string. In JavaScript, you can also use uh, this type of bracket, uh, of, of quote, I'm sorry, that supports several lines. So I'm gonna do it like that. And then I'm gonna do here, console, uh, no, I'm gonna say, uh, let L, I'm gonna name my variable L because it's L for lyric. I'm gonna start it as undefined, and then I'm gonna say L plus equals bottles of milk. And this part, I'm gonna make it in a loop. So for let I equals zero, well, no, not zero, 99, because it's 99 bottles of milk. Well, I, it's more than zero, because it will never, it should never be zero. Then I minus minus. We start looping, and inside of the loop, instead of putting 99 bottles of milk, I'm going to put the I here, inside. What you're seeing here, this is like concatenation. It's a different type of syntax of the same thing. It's concatenation. Oh, I'll do it the other way so you don't uh, get confused. It's like that. We're going to start with the I, and then we're going to put a plus, and then... Okay, so it's L of lyric plus equal I plus bottles of milk on the wall, then another I here. Bottles of milk, I close my line. Then another L plus equal, take one 
Pass it around. Nice, nine, 98 bottles of milk. So for this one, the concatenation has to be 98 will be I minus 1, right? Because it's 98. I'm going to put it in parentheses so it's easier to read. So now, right now we're doing, oh, we have an infinite loop, apparently. Yeah, because it's minus, minus. So minus, minus. Run. Okay. Let's see if we can do the, the jump of line. I'm going to jump, I'm going to do the console.log here. So it jumps the line, because the good thing about a console.log is that it jumps the line. So if I do it on inside the loop, it will separate my stuff in in lines and we will be able and we should all do also do a, a, a an empty line like this so we have an empty line between the paragraphs oh that that doesn't work the empty lines oh no it does look so 99 but also milk, I must, uh, then 98 99 bottles of milk and pass it around oh, it's calling me down let me see on the top again uh -huh. 98 bottles of milk is it decreasing? no it's printing the same 97 I should be decreasing on every loop and I'm seeing 99 bottles of milk on the wall, 99 bottles of milk, take one and pass it around, 98. Okay, then it it's 99 again, and it should be 98. That's weird. What if we put this... What if we initialize L here? Yeah, I think it's that. We have to initialize the variable inside the loop too. Yeah, here it is. Because it was accumulating and I was never resetting L. So now it's cool. Look, 99 bottles of milk on the wall, 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, until it reaches 1. This is the problem, the 1. So instead of stopping at instead of stopping at 1, I'm going to stop. I'm going to say, I'm going to stop 1 above one line instead of reaching to one i'm gonna reach to two and then i'm gonna stop let me run it again and i'm stopping at two you see because i know that the next line i don't need to loop it could be outside of the loop because i it's already one so i can say one bottle of milk i'm gonna reset l again here i it's already one because that's why it, it didn't enter into this loop so the value of i is one so this is good one bottle of milk and then take one person around no no more bottles of milk on the wall and then of course again like no more bottles of milk no more bottles of milk go to store and buy some more like this, like this, let me put this line also, like L plus equal quote, let me, s the 99 here, it's going to start again, I don't know if you uh, remember this song, but after 99 it goes uh, after one it goes back to 99 again, so it could be another four like four Let I equal 99 Actually it's an infinite loop so we can say while Well true well true will make an infinite loop and then we can put this inside the loop. It's a nested loop because we know that we have to set i to 99 again here i it's equal oh it's gonna it's gonna do it much uh, yeah it's gonna do it on its own because it's gonna when when it reaches back to line number two it's gonna set i as 99 again so it's gonna do it
we have um we, we need to close this and it's and we don't need to do anything else let's just test it i is not defined so ah because we use let yeah so we define it let inside the four so it's not defined it here maybe we can um we don't, we don't need this because i mean who cares if i we can just put it like one it's the same we're not adding more more lines of code because of this change so it's okay to hard code it now it's saying that l is not defined yeah it's the same issue so let's say l let l equals to empty then i'm gonna do the console.log here of l and then another console.log of l and maybe an empty thing here and let's run it so it's it's really it's taking a long time because it's it's an infinite loop uh, rebel needs to know at some point and needs to give us the output saying like you know that remember that rebel has a has a thing that avoids the computer for having an infinite loop apparently it's not working and it's having the infinite loop but it should stop at some point and unfroze our computer because it's frozen right now look i cannot even select or anything so let's wait until it stops oh like now i don't know what's happening look we're having like a, a huge problem here okay finally everything got unstuck and the computer stopped being crazy um, and we can see the output here so it's 99 it reaches let's go slowly because the scroll bar is so small that it's easy to get lost so from 99 or maybe it hasn't stopped looping you know from 99 98 95 93 80 82 60 40 30 10 1 and after 1 it says 99 again you see so now it's working let's remove i mean i have proved my point that we can do an infinite loop like this like the song but i don't think the exercise is expecting us to do an infinite loop so let me submit this and see what happens we have an output mismatch and the output mismatch is here we have an extra line here why do we have this extra line one bottle of milk on the wall one bottle of milk on the wall let me run it yeah why do we have uh, because we have to reset let yeah so that's it if we reset let here we don't have it was happening the same that happened at the beginning of the exercise that we had let outside and it was accumulating here it was accumulating again between these two steps so i'm gonna reset it and that's it let me run it again or maybe i cannot reset let doesn't let you reset really clear you have to only reset like that yep and if we submit okay we still have an output mismatch what could be happening where is the mismatch i don't see any mismatch yeah it doesn't give me any maybe the spaces let's see 99 ah oh, i think it's this console log we don't need it let's try again submit okay but it's it's getting closer and closer to to what we want but what it wants 99 99 there's a space here on the teacher example that we don't have after 99 okay so they have an extra space here Okay, so maybe they're doing the console or log on, on every yeah it's like they are not accumulating these two paragraphs they are putting every paragraph in a, in a separate in a separate line so but you get the idea like the only the only difference would be the spaces here so it's doesn't really matter but if you want to do it like exactly like that, you will have to combine. I know, you will have to put a, you will have to do console.log 
and then another console.log and what how I am doing how I am doing it is I'm doing only one console.log for all of this and they are doing a console.log for this one and a console.log for this one so that's what you should uh, do then for the last one javascript objects this is the only exercise that uh, it's about objects on this REPL, but there's another REPL about object-oriented programming. So you can just go to that one if you want to continue practicing this. In this particular case, it's saying that instructions programmatically change the fourth lucky number of John Doe to 33. So John 33, lucky number, the fourth one. So this one, 17. Then create a new person and add it to the fam to the family object okay let's say let's do the first thing so i have to change of john doe so that that will be like person dot lucky numbers in the position four it's equal to 33 then programmatic create a new person and add it to the family object okay let me just copy this and say person three and I'm gonna call it Emily Johnson it's a family it's a it's 14 years old and the lucky numbers are three four five six and it has it doesn't have a significant other because it's a girl I mean <laughs> of course then person three will be here because we're adding it to the array of members. And the last one is please print console log the sum of all the lucky numbers of the Doe family. Okay. So here all family members. Yeah, in this one we need to we need to sum all the lucky numbers. So let's do or oh, let's do this one. Well, let's yeah, let's do it with a four. I equals zero, while I is less than do family dot length. I plus plus, and then sum of all numbers will be equal a plus equal because it's, we're summing, we're accumulating. So it's do family in the position i, and then the significant the lucky numbers are it's another array it's like another array inside the array. So lucky numbers will have to loop again. So four, yeah, we have to replace this loop now. But I'm gonna name it j because I don't want the variables to be having a conflict. So I'm going to loop again, but instead of looping the same amount of times, I'm going to loop as many times as lucky numbers this particular person has, like this, boom, dot, length. So I'm looping the Doe family, and on each family member, I'm looping its lucky numbers. And then inside, I'm summing. So this will be, in the end, the sum of all the lucky numbers of all the Doe family members. This says that we have an issue on match cooler bracket. Ah, oh, yeah, we have an extra cooler bracket here. Okay, let's uh, let's submit to see if what we have to do. Your output. Ah, yeah, I have to actually console log it like this and submit. What's the problem? All lucky numbers is not defined. All lucky numbers. Okay, so I guess this has to be this. The name of a function was mismatching. Okay, what's wrong? Can I remember length of undefined on the line 39? So 39, so this thing is undefined? Ah, yeah, we need to pass because the function, the doe family is a parameter of this function. We need to pass it here. And it's here, family. Because it's the array of people. Ah, it's family of members, actually. Yep. Family dot members. We run it. That's all of them. Let's, let's 
console to log it. What's wrong? Oh, now I'm doing like a lot of things. What's happening here? Dough family. Dough family dot length. Family is an object, and I'm saying family dot members. Family dot members. It's like it's console dot login several times, and it's not supposed to console dot log several times. Print console dot the sum of all the login numbers of the Doe family. Sum of all login numbers of the Doe family. Doe family. It's an array of people that each of them contains a login number. It seems that it's okay. I mean, why is it printing all of this? I'm just doing one console.log, like, this is crazy. Let me comment this console.log and see what happens. 33. I think the, the exercise has an issue. Maybe. Let me see what this is, like console.log, sum of all login numbers. I think it's the value that we want. Oh, it like no one, no one is calling this function, look. So if I call it, let me just call it like this. And then suddenly it's being called it like infinite amount of times. Let me, let me call this like sum and that's it and then call sum just to see what happens the same thing family.members if I pass family it's gonna say zero because it never loops oh yeah it's here it's login numbers in the position J because it's a nested array so I need to specify what login number of what member of the family yeah so that was the problem and I was assuming here that the the exercise was wrong okay let's run it I have to pass what I was passing before it's family dot members run it's 119 let me see it's supposed to be different it's supposed to be 94 and it's 190 right now why is it supposed to be 94 let me let me sum them what if I don't reassign this if I leave this like that it's 88 86 ah, but how will you know if Leah because now it has a new person so it does how does it know that it's 94 because person 3 is not Person, I created person 3, so who knows what lucky numbers I put here. I guess I have to put it null, because maybe it's not taking them into... Or empty array, maybe. Let me see. 68. <laughs> yeah. There's a there's an issue here with this exercise. This is supposed to be 94. Maybe I can make it be 94. But it's, it's summing all. It's just, it's not what it's supposed to be. So now the exercise has an issue and it's not my issue. Yeah, all the lucky numbers for everyone. Third person added to family object, Jim Doe, third Melina. Okay. Ah, it's giving me the lucky numbers of this person. Okay, let me put them here. 78 now ah, and I need to change the other one to 33 now it's 111 so 33 ah use a command don't manually change the code yeah uh, use a command do not change now please print console log to some other numbers I think it's perfect and it should be it should be doing it 
But if you think about it, if you sum this by hand, I don't know if this is going to be 94. Okay, so let's, let's check this out. It's 7 plus 11 plus 13 plus what I changed. I changed it to 33. So 33 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Yeah, it's 94. So what's the problem here? It is right. Let's see, let's compare. This one is 0, 1, 2, 3. Ah, is that, this, is, this is supposed to be 3. Yeah, because it's 0, 1, 2, 3. The position 4 is really 3. Let's run it now, it's 94. So yeah, the exercise was perfect and I was the one making mistakes. But now it's 94 and my output, I, I now I have to console.log my output because I removed the console.log before. 94, finally, woohoo! So I think that's that was the last one I think. Yeah, 